Are we alone in the universe? Or are there distant worlds teeming with life like Earth? Given the number of stars and galaxies, most scientists believe it's unlikely that life on Earth is unique. The universe is 9 billion years older than the Earth. So surely elsewhere, there must be advanced civilizations with massive technologies we should be able to detect. However, no such thing has been found. Scientists call this problem the Fermi Paradox. Why do we seem to be alone? An idea that many people find absurd or even impossible. Several explanations have been put forth, but the biocentric universe theory offers a new one. We are alone because the universe that we observe is specific to our lineage of biological life. In this theory, the universe evolves gradually through biological observation. Collectively performing this observation are all of Earth's living beings, forming a kind of common observer which views the visible universe. Consider a living organism made of cells. During its life, new cells are produced, live for a while, and then die. Sometimes, a colony of organisms can behave as if it were one big organism made of cells. By extension, all things that have ever lived on Earth can be considered to make up the ultimate organism, each individual being like a cell. We are born, live for a while, and then die. According to the biocentric theory, each of us is a part of this one giant superorganism which collectively experiences the world. But this brings up a question. Why is it that all individuals experience the same reality, a single course of events? This occurs simply because the universe is physically consistent. Through your conception and birth, you had a physical interaction with your parents, as they had with theirs. This can be said of every organism on Earth. We can therefore trace a continuous chain of physical interactions between any two organisms, even a modern hummingbird and a prehistoric flower. The entire biosphere is linked through these direct interactions all the way back to one common ancestor. In a universe that is 100% internally consistent, this guarantees no disagreements between any two earthly organisms about the course of events or the physical laws observed. But the same cannot be said of a lineage of life that's unrelated to ours. Such alien beings would make up a different common observer and would therefore observe and dwell in a universe different from ours. We would never cross paths and any radio signals sent out by them would never reach us. Our universe would appear to be devoid of other life forms, which is exactly what we see. And the longer we search for alien life without finding any of it, the more compelling a biocentric view of the universe becomes.